Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hello everyone. Uh, today I will show you a really nice and easy effect. It's called LED screens effect. As you can see, it's giving this really uh, cool dots in here. And this effect can be like really, really useful for many uh, ways, you know, like branding, like this, or you know, maybe your Facebook cover, or you know, Twitter or whatever. It can be like really nice for like you if you want to zoom in in a picture, as this, you know. So we we'll see how to do that using Adobe Photoshop. All right, fantastic, so let's get to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop. And as you can see, still have my PSD still open. So I will make sure like to upload it in the link from the description below. So we just close that. And the first thing we do, like we need to make a pattern. So we'll make a custom pattern from scratch so I will be sure we know how to do that uh, in Adobe Photoshop all right so just go to file new and you know just choose uh, whatever width and height but I would just prefer 300 by 300 and the resolution I would choose also 300 and press ok just make it in uh, full screen like this now uh, I will just create a new layer let me change the color of this one in here so let me put a red color so I can see now I will go to the rig uh, elliptical marker tool in here and I will just draw a circle by pressing shift and like maybe I will just choose 30 pixel something like so and I will choose a gray color so now it's that dark something like that and I will just fill it by pressing all delete like so let's control D to this left and I will just go and filter blur Gaussian blur so this would blur it a little bit so I will just choose uh, 0 0.5 like so press ok let me just repeat that blur control F to repeat it couple of times and all right now we just duplicate this circle in here by pressing ctrl G and we just double click to this circle and we choose color overlay and we change it to white like so press ok now we just press ctrl T and we make it uh, smaller somewhere like that all right so something like so press ok now I will just apply the same uh, blur filter so I will just press ctrl F a couple of times or like four times something like that and I will just try to place it like this and that's it something like that now I will select the both of them and I will make the opacity down a little bit maybe 70% so as you can see now I would just select the both of them again and I would just press ctrl E to merge them both and I would just uh, right click and I would just convert to smart object and just double click on that and it will open in a separate window as you can see now we have our uh, pattern so <clears throat> we just go to edit define pattern and let me call this led screen like so it's okay now we just close that that's this basically is the hard part of this effect so now uh, uh, whatever we do it will be easy to do so we just choose whatever image you want I will just uh, choose this one in here and I will just open it in Adobe Photoshop as you can see now we need like to make a new layer so let's first like apply uh, a 
curves effect so I will just press control M control M to load the all right so we go to image adjustment curves and I will just uh, like make it like I'll just bring out the colors all right something like that okay all right I like that so it's okay as you can see now I will just go to this layer that I will just I just created and I will just fill it with whatever color I want and I will make the fill zero and I will just double click to this layer they will go to pattern overlay and they will choose uh, the pattern that we just created in here as you can see all right just one click on that and we just you know you can just use it in the this big uh, balls in here that you can see or you know if you want to make it smaller you can just scale it down something like that but if you want to really zoom in in our photo or something like that you just make it 100 all right we just put uh, 50 percent like that that is okay so as you can see it's really neat a uh, pattern i will make sure like to upload that too so now i will just right click to this layer and i will choose convert to smart object as you can see now we just press it by, by pressing control or command in Mac we just one click to this layer in here and we just go to uh, my my main image in here and we just click on this layer mask icon so it will create a layer mask to it just one click as you can see let me make a background we just fill it with black now I'll just duplicate this image in here two times so I'll just control G1 2 and as you can see it start to uh, appear now I will just go to this image in here that we just created uh, from the pattern and I will change the blending mode to uh, soft light as you can see it will give it like really this pause it will give it like this effect in here as you can see now I will just duplicate it one more time and I will make it normal again and this time I will just reduce the opacity to 25% so it will give it this highlights of a screen as you can see and there you go so it's that easy and uh, I hope this tutorial was a little bit helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and, and comment and like this video. And wait for more tutorial to come. And you know, have a nice day.